What's up YouTube? Dylan here with Dylan Some Espresso Bar and today we are going to be talking about the highly recommended Crema all-in-one tamping and distribution tool. So in this video I am going to teach you how to set the proper depth when tamping and distributing for the perfect shot as possible. So make sure you stay tuned to figure out how to set this and if always if you can hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit that push notification so you never miss another one of my videos, I would truly, truly appreciate it as I appreciate each and every one of you. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Dylan here with Dylan's Home Espresso Bar and today like I said we are going to be learning about the all-in-one crema tamping and distribution tool so it was very very highly recommended that I make this video for all of you guys at home and like I always say and I will continue to say this is a family channel and I am here for you so if you have any kind of questions concerns please, please don't hesitate to ask me because I'm going to help you. I'm going to answer your question. Any question or remark that you leave down in the comments below, I will be sure to answer them right away and as soon as I possibly can. So without further ado, let's go ahead and figure out how to properly set the tamping and distribution of the all-in-one crema tool. So without further ado, let's get to figuring that out. All right, so let's jump right into talking about the crema dosing and tamping all-in-one tool. So why would you need to use this as opposed to a standard tamper? Well, I'm glad you asked. And also, if you wanna look here, this tamper actually comes with the Brema Barista Express. I'm not a huge fan of it just because comfortability is not that great. Uh, it's a lot easier to hold a tamper like this just kind of keep that in the middle of my palm as opposed to just a couple fingers right here. But let's get into the crema tool. So why is tamping and distributing so important? Well, I'm glad you asked. When first starting out into the espresso game, channeling plays a huge factor when pulling your shots of espresso. Channeling is when you have an uneven level of grinds in your basket. And what happens is water will flow through the part of the basket that has the least amount of grinds. So with that being said, you're gonna get an over or under extraction, which is gonna lead you to a very sour and bitter tasting to your shot. And when just starting out and pulling your shots of espresso as a beginner, or even if you've had the machine for a while but you can't seem to dial it in, channeling could play a huge role in making you return your machine. Because the issue is, you're not gonna get that good shot that you've always dreamed about when pulling your shot from your Barista Express or whichever machine you may have. So today we are gonna be talking about the all-in-one tool and right now I'm gonna show you how to properly set this to where you can be distributing and tamping like a pro so you can eliminate all the channeling. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly set the depth of this tool. Okay, so this is the Breville's Porter Filter. It is a 54 millimeter Porter Filter, and this comes with the Breville Barista Express. However, unlike most commercialized machines, standard is 58 millimeters. So it is quite a big difference. However, we are working with Breville Barista Express. So we are gonna be talking about the 54 millimeter Porter Filter. So how does the tool work first? So first, it acts as if you grind all of your coffee grinds into your porter filter basket, you're gonna wanna take the distribution tool, set it on top of the porter filter itself and spin it. And what this does is it's gonna take that big mound, that big clump of coffee grinds, and it's gonna evenly distribute it 
throughout the entire length and width of the basket. So now you're gonna want to tamp. Tamping is when you apply any kind of force straight down into the puck. So you want it to be as even as possible. And with this tool, it makes it so easy to stay even because it lays right on top of the basket on this ridge here to where you can just put it straight on top and push down. So there is no way that you can maybe push a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. It just goes straight even force on all four sides of the basket. However, when you're using a regular tamp and you put this into the basket, see how it can kind of shift inside of the basket? Well, you could kind of tamp like this or you can tamp like this and it's not even, okay? So what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna get channeling. And it is extremely hard if you're just starting out or you are struggling with tamping itself already to get that nice even tamp inside the basket. So it's really good to practice with the all-in-one tool because it is the perfect way for you at home to get the perfect shot of espresso each and every time and staying consistent as possible. So let's go ahead and set the depth. So I want to start out by saying that this distribution side is going to be at the very minimum depth as possible. So if you can twist the middle part right here and then you let this down. So as you spin it, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, you're gonna wanna set that all the way to the very minimum. So you're gonna spin it until you can't spin it anymore as close as possible. Then you're just gonna lock that in. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna make sure that this top tamping part is all the way as minimum as possible as well. So you're not gonna wanna raise that at all. You're gonna tighten it up. So right now, you're at the very minimum as possible for both the distribution side and also the tamping side. So now, we are gonna go ahead and grind our beans and I'll get right back to you. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to go ahead and smooth out the grinds inside of your border filter basket. Then you are going to take the all-in-one tool and use the distribution side, the part that has like the three blade looking pieces. And we're gonna set that on top of the basket. And we're gonna go ahead and turn it about a couple times to where you have a nice even bed of coffee grounds. Next, we're gonna go ahead and lock the porter filter into the group head. And you're gonna go ahead and take it out. So what you're gonna notice, let me show you up close here, turn the light on. You're gonna notice you can see the indention of the group head. So you're not gonna wanna see that screen on the indention of your basket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the all-in-one tool and we're just gonna simply, with the minimum depth set, we're gonna go ahead and push that in there and push down. As you can see, you can still see very visible marks of the shower screen. So what we are gonna do is we are going to turn the middle of it and we are going to lower this by two turns and then you're gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Now, you're gonna take your porter filter, you're gonna take your tool, and you're gonna push down. So as you can see, with that tamp, it pretty much got rid of that center, but you can still see a little bit of indentions inside of the puck. So what we're gonna do, and we had a little bit of resistance on the tamper itself, so now, we're just gonna go ahead and loosen it up one more time. We're gonna go ahead and give it two more turns. Lock it in. Now we're gonna put it right back on 
and we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice firm push. So now as you can see, the lines are pretty much gone. There's only one little tiny line up here. I don't know if you guys can see it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it one last time, undo the middle and give it a half a turn Tighten it back up. So now we should be set at the proper depth required to get that perfect distributing and tamp on the actual porter filter. So now without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and put this onto the mat. I'm gonna go ahead and push that pressure down and just go ahead and spin. So now, we will have the perfect tamp every time to prevent channeling and to save you guys a lot of frustration at home. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and flush out my group head. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the machine. And now I'm going to put the porter filter inside the group head as well, lock it in. And we're gonna go ahead and pull couple shots to end the video Okay, so as you guys just saw, that shot was beautiful. We had great crema, great flow, great yielding. So what I would like to go ahead and do is just go ahead and recap what we did here today. So today, we went ahead and set the depth of the crema all-in-one distribution and tamping tool. So how did we do that? Well, what we did was we set the tamping and the distribution side to the minimum depth possible and that we did we achieved that by turning this middle and unlocking so that we can loosen up this and this so then we tighten it back up so what we did was we kept the distribution side of the tool to the very minimum depth as possible we distributed and then we went ahead and locked that portal filter into the group head and what that did was is it shows the shower screen of the Breville Barista Express indentions onto the actual grounds inside of your port filter basket. Obviously, we do not want this because now your coffee grinds, since it is showing the indention, is pushed up against the group head. So when you go to pull that pull your shot, what does that mean? Well, I'm glad you asked because what that means is your shot, that water is going to directly hit your puck. And that could lead to a burnt espresso and a bitter or sour tasting espresso. And it can also be a huge factor when looking into channeling. And like I said, that's when the flow of water finds the minimalist part of the basket and it runs through it. So if you have a very little bit on the right side of the water filter basket and you have a lot of grounds on the left side, what's gonna happen is, is that when that water comes and saturates that puck, that water is gonna go through that right side that has almost little to no coffee on that side, and it's gonna travel through there to where it's gonna to lead to an over extractor because the water is gonna be way too fast. The flow is gonna be way too fast for the shot you are looking to pull. So now what we did was, is we took that out and I showed you guys the shower screen indention onto the port filter basket itself. So then what we did was, is we went ahead and just with the minimalist part of the tamping side, we went ahead and put it on and tamped. And as you saw, there was zero resistance and zero pressure that was being able to be applied. So we still saw the complete full indention. So obviously we need to go back to the drawing board and do some more depth work. So what we did was is we twisted this middle part again, did about two turns to make it extend out, tighten it back up and repeated the process. And we repeated this process until we were able to get resistance from the puck 
and we no longer saw the indentions of the shower screen. This is how you can ensure that you have the best depth possible for your machine and also for the grinds you use. Now this can vary based on the amount of grams that you dose in your porter filter. So if you're using 17 grams and then you're switching the next day to 18 grams, you may have to adjust this the same way we just did it. However, it's a very easy and simple process and I know all of you guys at home will do just fine. And as always, if you guys can hit that like and subscribe button down below to support me because I support you. I love and appreciate each and every one of you and I am so thankful for all of my subscribers and for all the support you guys have given me. You guys have truly, truly blessed me and I look forward to a great 2021 with you guys and I'm gonna make you guys great content to maybe and hopefully help you with your machines at home. And as always, Dylan with Dylan Swims Espresso Bar. I love each and every one of you. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at dylan.licka where I will occasionally go on live. And if any of you are struggling and you guys are seeing this video, please reach out to me and I would love to do an Instagram live with you and help you one-on-one -on -one to show you how to better use and understand your machines. So without further ado, thank you guys so much. I love each and every one of you. Peace.